In the following exercises, we're going to create a social media template. Now to do that, we need to create a brand new document. So I'll go to file and then choose new. And when this dialog box pops up for the first time, it'll no doubt look very small. We need to expand the size of this. So you can hover your cursor over the bottom right corner, click and drag the left mouse button just to make it a bit wider, but especially taller so we can see the settings on the far right hand side. First step is we need to tell Photoshop what kind of document this is going to be. So it's going to be displayed on the web, of course. So I'll click on the web preset and then we're given some standard web sizes in here that we could utilize as a starting point measured in pixels. If you don't find the preset that you're looking for, you could always hover over and left click on view all presets where you'll find, as it suggests, the remaining web based presets. For us, any one of the presets are fine. What we need to do is head across to the far right hand side where we're going to add in the rest of the specific details for our document, starting with the document name. And this uh, untitled one will become the document name. So I'll call this social template. Set the width to be 1024 and the height to be 512. Make sure it's measured in pixels. And that, of course, is going to be a landscaped. We need this to be set to what's called artboards, which we'll discuss more in the next video. But in a nutshell, artboards will allow us to create effectively multiple pages of artwork in the single Photoshop document. The remaining options resolution we can leave set to 72 because the web only really cares about the physical width and height of your graphic in pixels. The colors will be all in RGB, red, green and blue, and we can leave the background set to white for now. It will be concealed ultimately when we finish the document. And then finally, you can head down to the bottom and click on create. At which point we are presented with what looks like a very unusual looking Photoshop document, but I will explain what's happening in here in the next video.